G'day guys, welcome to GJ Bricks. I'm Greg. Tonight I'm going to show you my Lego store mock, which I'll just lift up quickly before I give you a proper tour. So I've taken the set number 40305, I've taken two of them and combined them and tried to put my own twist on it. So I'll show you what this is, a little scene. It's one I've wanted to do for a while. I like the original store. Originally, if you remember, I was thinking of doing a three-story store, but decided doing something a bit sort of bigger and rectangular worked better for my city. And this is gonna go in this space in my city, which is where the, um, the haunted house ride is at the moment. So that's where this is gonna go. Now, I'll start by saying, uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. I do post regularly. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions as I go through this, please feel free to write them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And there actually is one part of this that I would like some input from you. So I will tell you where that is when I get to it. Let's get into this mock. Right. Now, unusually for me, I'm going to start this video off with the mock actually sort of in the beginning of a scene so uh, if you watched my last city update you'll know I was going to convert an area on the back left into uh, a sort of area with small builds like this some shops some market stalls things like that kind of more like a villagey feel than a or you know small town feel than the bigger city sort of where all the modulars and things are in the city so this was the idea was I was trying to use these parts these are from one of the poly bags you can get one of the extra sets uh, we've got Emma's art studio over here and Eclipse Graphics one of their Iron Man posters over here I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to stay there but I kind of like the idea of having that next to the shop and that will actually then finish this off nicely because this is going to be next to the detectives office so I, on the outside of this I have tried to sort of you know it's, it's very hard to use the parts from that set and make it very different to everybody else's but what I've tried to do taking a leaf out of JC from Small Brick City and put an air conditioning unit on the roof up there so we can see that there is uh, you know this place needs to be kept cool uh, I also tried to do something a bit different and actually build a brick using the parts that are in the set so this is actually all from the set, oh knock it off but then have it pouring the liquid out, I love seeing those pouring brick mocks that people do so I thought this was like a really interesting way to actually make the store a bit different rather than just having a brick stuck on the front of it like other people do I decided to do this one and I just got C3PO Santa on the roof there because I was mucking around and he's built on there and then we've got the three stores so this is two store, two shops put together um, originally I had this actually a bit wider but what I've done is made it a bit narrower so I've actually got a bit of a walkway through here there's enough room I like these friend sets they're very bright and vibrant that's actually perfect because there's going to be nothing behind here so I can actually have these as these open back sets so I think that actually looks really interesting it needs a little bit more detail in this set but on the whole that's a really nice set I do like that one and there's another one out that I do enjoy as well on the outside here let's just get Emma out of the way here just so I can show you a little bit more around here. So I've kept the cash machine because obviously you're going in the Lego shop, you're going to need money. Now everything's cards, but sometimes you want to pay with cash. I've also added in a uh, drain pipe here because obviously we need to keep the roof and things like that dry. So we'll keep that off there. And then on the front here, we've got the standard flags and the Lego logo here. Now, what I wanted to ask you guys was... What do you think should go on here? I was actually thinking of putting a couple of mini builds in there. Now, one thought is to do sort of just a really simple Star Wars TIE Fighter. I don't want to go too far down the Star Wars route, but I think that's kind of Lego-y, unfortunately. That's a very Lego symbolic thing. And I've got lots of micro builds inside, so you'll see a few more things in there, which I think you'll enjoy. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a Star Wars mock there, a TIE Fighter, or something, I just want to do something really small, maybe comes out just to give some depth to the front here. And then on this side, something else. So let me know your thoughts on what I could possibly build on there. Now I'm going to go into the first floor and show you what's in there. So here we have the ground floor and I've packed quite a lot in there as you can see. So starting back there we've got the till. I've tried to make it a bit bigger, a bit more, uh, a bit more sort of realistic. We've got a couple of packages being put on there and some of the other sort of sets and whenever I go in the Lego shop there's always a couple of boxes and things behind the counter so I thought it was important to get those in there as well as you know perhaps a, a bag of a part box they've put there or something like that over here we've got the pick a brick wall um, using the parts that are there now I think I'm going to rebuild this using Technic so that basically by using a Technic beam I'll have half as many dots across there, they'll be better spaced out, which I think will look better. And then I also want to put some flat tiles on top. And then just in the corner down here, we've got 
the pick a brick cups which is an important feature to get in there let's see if that's going to focus for me nicely so we got the pick a brick cups there just on the corner again that's just using parts that were in the set I think I did one part for that we've got someone picking a set there now we've got the uh, shield that was in there before and then just down the front here Lego always when you go into a Lego shop has one of their primary sets. Let's just open that front door. And the first thing that greets you, here's the latest set that you've uh, that you've that's come out. So in this case, we've got the haunted house there that you can buy. We've also got a train. This is one of the original trains that was in the set. So that's another micro build that came from it. And then this one's just a sort of amalgamation of what was in there before. And I've added in this tree as well, just to sort of make this little city scene. Over on this side, we've got the minifigure builder there. Looks like someone's picked a minifigure out. And then I just sort of, because I've got the um, cash machine on the back here, I had to sort of cover up a piece that I was the wrong colour. So I thought I'd use these on there to actually add a bit of texture and detail. And I've just put some windows on the back. There's no back door or anything on this one. I could put a back door in here, possibly on this side. But to be honest, it doesn't matter because it's going to be against the wall. So that's the ground floor. And then just some simple stairs going up. I do need to put a banister on that though, which is something I will do. So yeah, I think I've got quite a lot into that little scene. Now, the first floor... There's a few more things going on here. So first of all, we'll start with, got the Lego logo on the wall, just to remind you you're in a Lego shop. This actually is meant to be a continuation of the brick that's on the roof. So this is kind of like bricks being made or the plastic being poured or whatever, just coming down. And there's just a little, little dial on the bottom there as well, just to sort of make you feel like it's a machine doing something. Again, I just thought that was a nice thing and I had some parts I could use for that one. This is one of the children's play areas. So I don't know if this is in every Lego shop, but generally in the Australian ones, we have a, a pit of bricks that the kids can sit and play at. And then we've got some of the sets on the wall up here again. And then over on this side, again, some more sets. Little boy there picking out some parts. And just a chest of drawers in the corner, probably just keeping some details that are, uh, let's get some light in there, there we go. Just keeping some details or some parts or some customer orders, something like that. Just sort of needed a bit of office space because there's no actual office in here. Now, I'm going to pull out these three builds on the top floor because I actually built all of them custom. They're all micro builds. Rather than show you them from this side, I will just show you them from the front so you can get an idea of what's going on there. We've got classic space on the left. Voltron in the middle and the Horizon Express on the right. I'm going to pull them out and have a look at them properly. Here's my three micro builds. I wanted to do something that was very Lego, a classic space scene here. Just a spaceship in the classic blue and grey colours flying, excuse my big hands, flying over some craters and things like that. I was trying to make it look like the old moon crater. Um, base plate, those of you that remember it, and then we've got the classic blue, yellow and grey for the spaceship. Just zooming over the landscape, I just thought it sort of was a, a good attempt at a little space scene and it fits in the window perfectly. On the other side, we've got a Horizon Express, so try to use the Horizon Express colours, as you know, one of my, I love my Lego trains, so it was important to get lots of trains in here. Again, just zipping past the city scene in the background, we've got a tree, some kind of clock tower and a house over there on the left. And then the main one in the middle that I'm not going to pick up because he is a little bit fragile, is Voltron. Uh, I've tried to use all the right colours on the legs, so the blue, the orange, the, the red, the green, and then this should be a bit more black, but I ran out of black parts for this one, so that's my only failing. Um, now, there are slightly bigger ones than this, I tried to make this as small as possible so it fit in the window. I have seen other ones like JC from Small Brick City who did an excellent version of this that fits in the actual store itself. So this was my take on it where it fits actually in the window rather than the store itself. So there you have it. That is my take on the classic Lego store set 40305. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know if you like what I've done or could improve on anything I'd love to hear your suggestions and if you like how this little scene's coming together where this is going to be walkways and things like that joining up the various bits of the city if you're new here make sure you hit subscribe I post regularly and I'm going to give you a couple more videos to watch at the end here thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again very soon